So in 2008, 314 soldiers died in Iraq and 409 were murdered in Chicago. And I'm going to go ahead and cite Kanye West because that's what needs to happen. And, but it, on a serious note, I mean, if the note weren't already serious, this reminds me of some evidence we had in debate, um, or we still have in debate, the Shepard Hughes evidence and the Cuomo evidence, which talk about basically how when we consider, like, certain states to be war and other states to be peace, it makes us consider different kinds of violence as more or less violent than other kinds of violence. So, like, if somebody dies in the U.S. because we're not at war in the U.S. because that's not a war zone, it's less important than when a soldier dies in Iraq, a U.S. soldier. And that's what this really reminds me of. And although it doesn't surpass the murder rate in Iraq for U.S. soldiers, the murder rate in D.C. is similarly high, particularly a mile away from the White House where Hadia Pendleton was shot. And this is really reflective of how deployed perceived whites are valued above predominantly black citizens in, a, in this police state. Hadia Pendleton was not a fallen soldier. She was a black kid just like me, speaking the same words that I'm speaking, as she'd made videos just like mine about how gang violence is important to recognize and stop, but because she lived where she lived, she was killed. And I really believe we value her life less than we would value that of a white U.S. soldier. Because we see violence in places like D.C. or Southside Chicago as normative and acceptable. And I think our dialogue about gun violence is reflective of how we don't care. Because we think just by changing our attitudes, right? Just by ensuring that there are more guns and that people who have guns use guns. If we just think about it hard enough, if we just pack enough heat, that we're going to be able to stop the violence. And that's not true. Nobody was shooting at Hadia Pendleton. Somebody was shooting at somebody else and a stray bullet just hit her. Just like the kid who, on the same day of Jack Jablonski's incident, was shot while eating spaghetti on Northside Minneapolis. Just by a stray bullet. And... I think this is reflected in reality, the way in which we value lives, especially brown and black lives. For example, when I was at social justice slash theater camp, we watched this video about the yes men, who were basically these impersonators who would like go and pretend to be like big corporate dudes, and then just say horrible things, and then everybody would agree to the horrible things they said, and then they would be like, look how horrible these people are, right? So they go to this meeting, and they're like, look, we need to start essentially creating death quotas, right? So we can afford for 16 Indians to die. We can only afford for one white person to die. And everybody was like, yeah, this is really useful. And yeah, it is hella useful in a country where we need to legalize violence in order to keep the industry up. Because you know what that is. You know, when we're talking about how we need more guns because Adia Pendleton got shot, that's not because people are stupid. That's because of a gun industry led by white men. Jeez. And I'm just disappointed that we're not honoring her like we would honor a fallen soldier. And we're seeing it as this incident, right? This freak thing. It's not a freak thing. Kids get shot all the time in the hood. And we just don't care. And I don't understand that experience because I'm black and people think I'm one of the good ones, right? Because I live in freaking Minneapolis in a privileged place. 
that means that I'm, I deserve to survive because I, because people view me as somehow assimilated or somehow achieving the whiteness that I'm supposed to fit the mold of. And then some other kid who's exactly freaking like me. Some girl who's... Some girl who's basically... The same. It just makes me think about how... If you put me... In the hood of DC or Southside Chicago or Compton or wherever, suddenly I'm worthless. So think about that. 